Hey, my name is Dave. I'm based out of Bethel, Alaska, and I wasn't born in Alaska, but I got here as quickly as I could. This video is focused on slow approaches off airport landings and how I figured all this out. I'm not a CFI, so please practice all of this with a flight instructor if you're interested. This is Isaac Beddingfield. Um, he used to live in Bethel, that's how I knew him, and he's regarded as an absolute airplane ninja. Uh, last summer, I realized I wasn't progressing like I felt like I should, so I sent him a text and he told me to come on over to his house for an uh, airplane boot camp. The number one biggest tip that helped me the most with Isaac was getting my nose up, slowing my approach down, uh, locking the sight picture uh, on my approach where the horizon intersects the cowling, keeping that exactly the same and controlling my touchdown point with throttle. You know, if you nose your plane all the way over, it's going to go down really fast. And if you pull the stick all the way up, you're going to go really slow and then down really fast. So trying to find the sweet spot there where you're playing your airspeed as, as slow as it can go, but still stable. I have that sight picture exactly the same. The horizon's intersecting the cowling. And if I start to sink, I do a little bit of throttle. When you're flying this slow, there's very little or no ground effect. So having the right deck angle or attitude um, with your throttle, if you can get that consistent to where you want it, um, and you're controlling for any crosswind, that's called a, a stabilized approach, and that's how you can start to become really accurate. So this one shows I wasn't stable, and I totally just whiffed it. Um, I actually dropped my nose a little bit. I felt like I was getting a little too slow, um, and just I react, instead of doing more throttle, I dropped the nose a little bit, which changed my whole touchdown point. Um, this kind of flying is so uh, delicate change your deck angle a couple degrees or do a two millimeters of throttle sometimes it feels like you can blow the whole landing ideally my tail wheel is you know half a millimeter above the rock it can hit we want the tail as low as possible so the wing has the highest angle of attack getting the plane as slow as you can um, when you touch down i'm going to play this one again kind of slow motion and go through a couple other things that uh we're clicking finally this day I was super stable on this approach. I had a string tied from my eyes to my touchdown point and everything was just coming together really well. As I approach the touchdown point, I my attitude, I know from the previous day's work that my tail wheel is barely above the ground. Um, I have a tiny bounce when I land and then I'm getting on the brakes, Isaac. When I flew in his plane, he hammers his brakes. He's also in a different plane. But yeah, I try not to get above that attitude, the, I guess the normal flight crew's attitude because you don't want the prop to be um, anywhere near the rocks. This was the next day we did some mountain flying and I'm gonna play this clip twice. The second time I'm not gonna talk over it, but I uh, would like you just to try to listen to the throttle inputs I'm doing here to get the plane to have a very light touchdown. Um, this was our second day of flying and I felt like I had improved just night and day. For precision landings, you control the airspeed with the stick, not the throttle. And when you're using the throttle, you have constant small inputs to control your touchdown point. After you land, you get the stick back, you dump your flaps, and you put on some brakes. Those last three are something I'm still working on because there's still a little bit of cognitive overload for me when I'm doing this. But Every day's practice, every day I'm getting better. Please go check out God's Country Aviation. He has a awesome YouTube channel. He's an awesome guy. If you're interested in this type of flying, get in contact with him.